guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are playing a little Xanic. All right. It sounds upbeat. I'm, I'm, from what it looks like and sounds like, just off the top, I feel like it's gonna be a uh, kind of shooter. It's looking more and more like a shooter. And it's a shooter. This looks a lot like, well, I, Jesus, there is all kinds of stuff going on in this, isn't there? Good <laughs> the fucking the, the the fact that they shoot missiles sideways at us is insane. This is definitely a bullet hell game. With very interesting uh dynamics. Like they have these blocks. Where they have the blocks that take a certain amount of hits in order to unlock them and gives you the, your, your shields and everything. Which, without them, you are toast, man. I, there's no way. Again, my biggest issue with this game so far is, again, the color scheme. Like, everything kind of blends. They just didn't take into account any... All right, we just screwed ourselves, I think. Yeah, I, I don't understand the numbers to a point at this point. Yeah, without your shield, you're pretty screwed. We we're doing good. Like, at first, I don't know, like, it's an interesting game, a decent concept, but honestly, I'm not sure with the follow through and the way everything really turned out. Like, see, we picked up that. I don't understand why we, we got it on that one, but when we did it at the other level, we didn't. Okay, so the, the this is the, the, you actually have a shield that has a health bar at the bottom right, Jesus. It's a bullet hell game for sure. See, I don't understand. Like we 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 screwed ourselves again. Then this numbering thing. Like I don't understand. First it's beneficial, then it's not. And without your shield, this game is almost unplayable. Like, I, you would need to actually see, like, the instructions and understand more of what's going on. It is a fast-paced, bullet-hell game. See, that I don't understand. Like, we got the things. We're, we're, we're toast already. We're dead.
Yeah, see, I don't understand. We got sixes and we got ones, and now we have no shield. Like, I don't understand. Like, th that's the thing with this game is, like, if you don't understand what's going on, then you really are at a disadvantage, I think. Because I thought getting those things would be better, but it's not. Honestly, like, I think it has potential, and if you learn what the numbers do, then I feel like you would have a better understanding and a better ability to play the game. Without knowing what the numbers do, I seem to keep hobbling myself and shooting myself in the foot. Like, one minute you have shields, the next minute all of a sudden hitting a different number takes away your shields and leaves you a thing, which you don't understand why. And, like, I don't know. There's a lot going on. The game is a very, very fast paced. Like, the game just throws you through shit into a bullet hell. You really have to be in the good, for one, mindset, and two, just really enjoy these specific kind of games. Because this is definitely not for everybody to just sit down and want to play. I think this game is just way over the top. And uh, the, the people that really love those crazy, speedy, bullet hell kind of games... This one's right up your alley, and I think when you read, like, whatever, go on and figure out whatever those things are that do, that you actually will actually get more out of the game. Like, it looks like there's a lot. Like, there's shields, obviously, your ship with all the different kinds of uh, attacks there is. There's a lot in this game going on, but this game is going to be an extremely difficult, major learning curve, and if you don't go sit down figure out what everything does. I, I think you can't even play it unless you actually look up the game and learn all the stuff that there is about this game. I think this is one of the few games that you, yes, you could just pick up and play, but I don't think you can really, unless you're one of those really high-end people that just really do well at these games, which there are a few of you out there that just can dominate stuff like this, even without any power-ups, I feel like. I definitely am not one of them, but I feel like most anybody that you even want to play this game, you really have to learn all the ins and outs of this game because there is no like easing into it. You get thrown into this shit and you just get pummeled. This game is brutal as hell, it is so fast paced, so crazy with so much going on. All that being said, I really, again, do not like the color scheme that they did. All the enemies are more or less get hard to see with all the different backdrops. I don't think they put enough effort into that where they don't stand out well enough. They kind of blend. Nothing really differ. They, <laughs> I cannot speak today. But anyways, nothing... Uh, I am so tongue-tied, I don't understand what's going on, but there's no differentiating, there we go, the different enemies, because they're all the same color, all the same thing, all blend together, and with that, then sometimes they make it to where you, they blend too well, and the backdrop, we've seen it way too many times, where the backdrop and the foreground with the enemies don't work well together, and it just turns into this jumbled mess of confusion, on top of the high speed, on top of everything, it is definitely a unique, interesting game that I'm not going to say there's anything really wrong with it. I think it's a good, quality, well-done game. It's just a game you really need to learn all there is to know about the game before you can truly enjoy and play it. So, with that being said, and the, the whole point of this channel is we are not going on to look at anything here. We are... Picking up a game like we rented it at a mom and pop rental place that didn't have books, didn't have nothing, and we we're testing out these games and seeing how they are played from a standpoint of no knowledge whatsoever. And this is a game that I don't feel like can be done that way. You need to know what is going on in this game to get anything out of it. But once you do, I feel like it has. A lot of enjoyability and a lot to get out of the game once you understand how to. 
So with that being said, guys, thank you very much for joining me. Till next time, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.